Peter, we're in 2021 now. Um, we've got probably just uh, a few months remaining uh, of the government schemes, the Sybil scheme and also the bounce back loans that are available. It's been extended to the 31st of March for those that, that weren't aware. They're great opportunities for engineers to invest in technology, aren't they? Sort of machines that we've got here to get themselves ahead of the game. Absolutely. I mean, now's the time. We've never known anything like this in our lifetimes and we may never again. Uh, and it's such an opportunity to get uh, either a big deposit on a high technology machine tool or maybe even look at a commodity machine tool with payment terms that are, are, are unprecedented really, you know, a 12 to 18 month period uh, where you've potentially got no payback for the machine. Uh, it's government backed, which is fantastic. You're on a fixed interest rate with it. Uh, but the key thing is, is you get a piece of technology in and you manage to bed it into the business and you haven't got the initial outgoings with that piece of equipment. So it can start earning before you've got to start paying for the machine. So it really gives the end user that bit of breathing space. So really important people go and look at that. And the level of technology that they can get their hands on here at White House Machine Tools includes this Belia machine that's available from stock. Yeah. It's quite important to do what we're suggesting, Peter, but also to make sure that that purchase is right and right for your company. Where would a machine like this fit and who would it, who would it primarily benefit? Okay, so Belia are an Italian manufacturer, typically of bar turning machines. Uh, and really leading technology when it comes to volume bar turning equipment. So the particular model that we've got here in stock, a B465T2Y2 machine, is a twin spindle, twin turret machine, twin Y-axis. But it's got some real key features to it that unless you look closely you could miss. Um, so really it's aimed at uh, high volume. Um, it can be complex part, but it doesn't necessarily need to be complex part. It could be quite straightforward. But it also uh, handles parts very sensitively as well. So if you've got any parts that have got surface finish requirements in reasonable volumes, simple complexity, high complexity, this machine's ideal. For me, with a machine tool, it's all about productivity out of floor space. Uh, and really with the format of the Belia machine, you're not going to get greater turning productivity out of such a small footprint than this style of machine. So do we, do we think that there's a, as an area for companies out there that maybe have two or three machines if I take what you say in a bigger in a bigger footprint and they're having to manually move parts around that cell that they could maybe do that all on this one machine and this could be the time with these schemes we're talking about to change the way they do it to change their beliefs and change how they pr produce yeah so a relatively application specific so we have to have a look but yes the possibility is there that you can consolidate two operations three operations onto one to one machine tool and that's ultimately where the saving is. I get asked a lot about high-tech machine tools and multitasking machine tools, and they're fantastic in terms of what they can produce. And indeed they are, but the big saving is downtime. It's because you haven't got all of the setups that you've got across two machines, three machines, four machines. And also, depending on the complexity and the accuracy of the part, you haven't potentially got the stack up of error. So not only have you got the saving in terms of downtime from setup, but you've got some wins in there in terms of uh, potential accuracy of components. And again, I go back to a point I made earlier, which is about productivity out of floor space. Per square metre, we need to squeeze as much capability out of per square metre in your facility as possible, which again is where the Belia type machine comes into play. It's all about productivity. If someone if, you, if you've kind of excited someone to think that they could um, buy a machine like this, Peter, what would they do? Come to you with a component and say, look, okay, prove it to me. Yeah, yeah, well, we, we're a consultative type cell. You know, we've got to make sure we do it ethically. We look at the components, we look at the customer and it's going to be the right thing for them. So yeah, we'll do the legwork to be able to support the customer to take a decision which is obviously supported, as we talked about a little earlier, by the potential of Seabills loans. So certainly the right time to buy it and available uh, here to see if people do want to come here safely uh, in your working environment. Yeah, of course, available to see here at White House Machine Tools in Kenilworth. Um, we'd love to do it physically but of course it could be done uh, remotely uh, if customers wish but we'd love to welcome them to white house and show them the machine in the flesh <laughs>